this week I want to update some more parts on the Marin. Specifically, I want to do an upgrade that I've seen other people do on YouTube, and that's take the MT200 brakes and give them a little bit of flair with the Dior XT lever. Let's go ahead and let's start with the front brake. The hose is a lot shorter on the front brake and it's a lot easier to bleed in my opinion. So I wanna give it a shot on this brake first before I take on the back brake. First thing that I'm gonna to have to do is get these grips off so I can get these levers off of here. Now that we got those levers off, it's time to try to install this brand new lever. Man, I hope this works. Now the smaller two finger lever, in my opinion, is a much more comfortable lever. And that's the big reason why I wanted to upgrade to these XT levers. On my Kona, I had this style lever and I absolutely loved them. Now it seems like all my bikes, since I've been buying budget bikes, have been coming with these MT200 or MT201 levers. And they're more of a three finger lever. And they're a little bit long for my liking. So the shorter lever should be perfect. Now I just have to cross my fingers and hope that these fit on there. I don't think I could have asked for a smoother install. This upgrade is going really well so far. Let's just hope that whenever I get the back brake on and I take this out on the trail that I can actually feel and tell a difference. Now the back brake was just as easy as the front. This was a fast upgrade. Now if you guys have never actually bled hydraulic brakes before, it's a super easy process. The one piece of advice I can give you if you're new to bleeding mountain bike brakes is just take your time. There's no rush whatsoever. So make sure you've got all the air bubbles out before you seal up that system and you'll have perfectly running brakes. Now that I've got these installed on the Marin, I wanna go over some of the details of why I chose to do this upgrade and what makes these levers so much better than the MT200. Now the first thing that you will notice is the lever is a lot shorter and this is only possible because of Shimano's servo way. So it's gonna give you a little bit more of a progressive feel. The further you pull on the lever, the more braking power you're actually gonna get. Now the other two things that you'll get are the toolless reach adjustment and the free stroke adjustment. Now I wanna show you guys something really interesting, how to adjust the free stroke and exactly what the free stroke does on these levers. Now there's a lot of people online that claim that the free stroke adjustment doesn't do anything. But I'm gonna show you guys a little trick on how to actually adjust your free stroke so you can get it done properly. The first thing we're gonna do is make a little guide and we're gonna use some masking tape because it's the quickest and easiest way to do this. Then you're gonna need a pen or a Sharpie. The first two things that you're gonna to wanna to mark is exactly the starting position of your lever. And then you're gonna to wanna to pull the lever until you just start to feel it tighten up. Then you're gonna mark that location. 
So now you have a starting point of when the lever is not being used and the starting point of whenever the actual pads touch the disc. Now here's the important part. Whenever you buy these brakes and you go to install them, Shimano sets that free stroke screw all the way in. You're gonna wanna pull that out before you do any bleeding to these brakes. I usually go about halfway and that's about three to four turns. Now, if you already have your free stroke screw set to the halfway point, then we can go ahead and move on to the next step. Now, if you're wanting to make the pads bite a little bit sooner, then you're gonna screw that screw in further. If you want it to bite a little bit later, you're gonna actually pull the screw out a little bit more. Don't pull it too far out because you don't want to get air back in your system. So for this example, I'm going to try to make the bite a little bit quicker. So I'm going to screw the free stroke screw all the way in. And as I'm doing that, you will notice that the lever starts to slightly move. It's a little hard to see, but you can actually see it move a little over a tenth of an inch. Now that's great. It looks like it's going to actually bite a little bit sooner. Whenever you go to pull the lever, you'll see that it actually goes back behind that starting bite point about a tenth of an inch or a little bit more also. So now that we got the free stroke adjusted and we know that it actually did something, we want to restore the reach to the original starting point. Now that we got the lever actually adjusted and back to our start point, whenever we squeeze the lever, we see that the actual bite point is much lower than the original bite point before we adjusted the free stroke. Now that is how you adjust the free stroke and the reach on these brake levers. And having these adjustments really does make a big difference. And if you've never tried to adjust the free stroke or you have and you didn't think it made a difference, go use that masking tape trick. It really does show you that this actually is doing something. So now that I've got the brakes installed and I'm ready to go ride, I have something that I need to do first. So a few weeks ago, I teamed up with Magic Shine and we are gonna do a giveaway of the MJ902S. And for everybody who has entered in, today is the day that I'm going to announce the winner. So let me run over to my computer real quick and get that winner selected. I wanted to make sure I gave everybody enough time to enter into this contest. So I waited till the very last minute to be able to do this. And there was a total of 15 people that met all the qualifications to be able to be part of this drawing. So I'm gonna display this little wheel up on the screen that has everybody's name on it that actually met the qualifications. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna give it a spin and see who it lands on. And it looks like it's gonna land on Adam Lett. Adam Lett, you are the winner of the Magic Shine MJ902S. So Adam, the way that you're gonna wanna get in contact with me so I can ship out this Magic Shine light to you is to contact me through Instagram Messenger or go to my About page on my YouTube channel and you should see my email address in there. So thank you Magic Shine for teaming up with me to do this giveaway. This was a super fun process. So you guys are gonna wanna stick around because in the coming weeks, I've got something shocking to show you.